Now we're now looking at the the refill cartridges that we have for our Epson 3800 and in our kit we've, we've, we're given nine refill cartridges now they're all nicely labelled which colour is which and also they're all issued with a, a carrier uh, chip now the carrier chip goes on the top and the original uh, the original brand chip goes underneath now this is very important this aspect when you decide to convert your printer we want to make sure we, we, we do need the chip that comes off the original OEM cartridge and it mustn't be a completely spent chip so sensibly we want to have at least let's say I'd estimate maybe 15% left in the cartridge there's nothing hard and fast about this but we want to have some of the memory left on the chip itself so a completely spent cartridge that indicates that you need to take it out of the printer and replace it with another brand cartridge that would be no good to us so in this case we've got the brand cartridge which is, which is the cyan we're going to do a little demonstration here of how we're going to transfer it so we get the cyan cartridge out here's our cyan refillable cartridge and it, at the moment it comes with the little transport cover now the transport cover comes here we throw that away we won't need that again but that makes sure that no dust can enter into the into the cartridge we've got the little tab here now that is a removable tab into which we can we can fill up the ink when we get to it but that will be in our, our next section uh, but this is the important bit at the moment we've got our carrier chip now it's important not to uh, not to uh, uh, confuse this chip with another one or swap them around because each of these refers specifically to the particular colour so make sure that if you're taking this off this stays with this particular chip let's get my trusty little Swiss army knife out what we're going to do is we're going to quite easily we're just going to very gently remove the chip from the OEM cartridge and then we'll move this round so you can see so we, we, we don't twist that round the, the two cartridges are the same same so let's do this again to be absolutely clear so we take this off and what we're going to do is we, we'll just lay that down and we're going to show you here how we take off this little piece so we actually we just put a little bit down here like so we just prise that off okay now let's turn it back so we've got no confusion about this we're going to take it off and we're going to lay this down now the chip itself we just lay it into the little receptacle that's here and we lay it down in the same direction okay in the same direction so you've got these here pointing in that direction can you see that let's get up nice and close to the camera so you can see you've got the arrangement of the chips you can see the direction of them we haven't twisted anything around they came off the cartridge like so and they go into the new cartridge like this we've got plenty of time there's no panic or anything like that we want to go through this nice and nice and steady and we're going to push this onto here and what this does this actually reads the information off of the OEM chip so it's quite clever we give that a little clip back down and that's securely that's securely registered and you're in perfect register and it's it's uh, it's reading the it's reading the lower chip now we repeat this process to all the other cartridges so we get our light magenta cartridge we take the light magenta chip off and we put it into our light magenta cartridge like so and we take this off and throw that one away we do the same to the light cyan so we take the light cyan chip off of our OEM ink take that off put it in clip it back in remember to throw away the little and we, we, we go all the way through the nine cartridges until we're ready to do the next stage which is actually putting the ink into the into the cartridges